<coughs> well, hello ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a drink day today. <coughs> it is. It's uh, after lunch, but the weather is definitely a bit bleh. Going to investigate whether they've permanently closed the road outside of the school or whether it's just closed during school hours. Um, we've had a missive from the um, town hall which leads me to believe that it's permanently closed um, on that they seem to think it'll make um, some more smoother um, I'm not too sure that that's um, actually going to happen because now that the little darlings can't be dropped off outside of the school the parents are going to have to park the car somewhere about a hundred meters away block all the traffic and so on on the main routes and um, walk their children to school Whereas previously, they used to just stop outside the school, open the doors, children would get out and go into the school. As it's a one-way street, and most of the schools I've seen, not all of them, but most in uh, this region seem to be on one-way streets, there's no real risk of somebody coming and knocking them down from the op opposite direction. The only thing that they've got to watch out for are two-wheeled vehicles, bicycles and motos. Um, but as the parents tend to have the road blocked with the doors open and so on, the, the motos can't get through, so... So I think they've taken a relatively safe situation and made it um, unsafe. I really do. And then rather than the uh, smooth operation of the town, it's going to make it... Uh, a rather more difficult operation. I find this a lot that people don't think. They just don't think. They don't think things through. Nice little puppy, that. Alsatian puppy. Hmm. See, the interesting thing is, is there's a school here, but they haven't blocked this. But they have blocked the next one up, as you can see. So I don't know how people are supposed to get in there and, and so on, whether they've got a gatekeeper but uh, I don't know I really don't I don't think things have been thought through properly which um, I've noticed I mean it was the same with the cycle ways and so on that wasn't thought through properly and after 
a few weeks of operation they had to shut that down or most of them down I notice there's still one or two of them still on the go but uh, I notice that a large percentage of them have been shut down so yeah I think, uh, I think they call themselves engineers they it's a badge of honor and as far as I can see it's not a badge of honour, it's a badge of stupidity in France, or it seems to be. Somebody was talking about... Uh, somebody was talking about the over-engineering of various things in France. Um, I believe there was a, a canal boat lift that was engineered somewhere in the south of France. And basically it was very badly over-engineered. Um, a few people who know about these things basically said that uh, it was not going to work. <coughs> and would be causing more problems than it solved. Um, the guy who engineered it went on to make something even more crazy that never worked properly. Um, again, lifting canal boats. Um, at least the first one actually worked. Ooh, the river's very high. Sorry, changing the subject. It is. The weir is now completely submerged so mm, it is it's quite high I noticed they were giving um, flooding flood warnings um, risk of flooding and I, I couldn't see why and I still really can't see why because although the river is high it's not over high if you understand what I mean it's not close to bursting its banks it might be coming over some of the paths along the side of the river but then there's another two meters or so above that uh, a bank what's going on here some nice person dropping gravel down the center of the road Oh, that was uh, something I found last last evening coming home as well. Unfortunately, the camera wasn't running at the time due to uh, the battery having run out. I need to do better battery management, but the road was absolutely covered in gravel for about five or six hundred yards, which uh, was definitely not clever. I don't know which... Uh, idiot in a lorry thought that that was a sensible thing to do but um, obviously they did which was uh, very helpful for people on two wheels and not very helpful for people on four wheels because stopping distances would have been about I would imagine three or four times the uh, the normal stopping distances but Never mind. That's life. It is. Mm. I notice there's oil on the road as well, which doesn't help matters. Hopefully whatever's dropping the oil has gone the other way. It is. It's. It's really dreek. I mean, it's. It's very fine drizzle today. I don't know if you can see it on the lens. You might be able to. I don't know. Um, but it's definitely unpleasant. Definitely unpleasant. So, hmm. I don't know what these two characters are doing in front. I don't think they know either. Come on, Charlies. 
decide what you're going to do and then we will do it. Mm. That's better. So, yes, miserable day. At least the weather is warming up a bit. Um, supposed to get 10 degrees later on today, with luck. So, we will see. We will see. It doesn't feel like 10 degrees at the moment. More like sort of about 5 or 6. But that could just be the mizzle that we've got. It's, as I say, it's fine. Fine rain. Not good. Not good. I wonder if the police are out doing their roadside speed checks. If they are, they're parked down on the left-hand side, just down here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. To just clean the visor, can't see a damn thing. And if they are, that van is blocking them nicely. No, they're not there today. Haven't seen them for a while, so maybe during this um, curfew period when people are supposed to be working from home, uh, they're not here. Anyhow, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.